Hello folks, welcome to our third look at Starbound 1.3 Preview in the Unstable branch. So things are still being tweaked, in fact this is now release candidate number two, and the previous episodes were in release candidate one, and I think the only thing I've noticed that's any different in, this, in the space of a day, is the fact that I can now apparently save and resume when actually on space stations, which is rather tasty. So, okay, so last time we discovered that if we want to build our own space stations, we are going to need to complete a little quest. Um, we wish I had to acquire titanium bars, gold bars, silver bars, and some pixels. Now I've got I've got most of those, but the only thing I haven't got is silver bars. So let's just have a bit of a look around. I have a feeling there might be some silver bars that someone had just about thrown away. Oh look, there they are. Yeah. <laughs> what a coincidence. Ugh. Right. Let's actually. Hello, oh, mate. Electronic goods trader. I had no idea. Shit. <laughs> Should have. Yeah. Okay, so I can um, I can buy electronic parts and weapon parts. Bloody hell, what's this? Electronic parts. And um Oh, he's actually s Oh, I can sell weapon parts to him. Oh, okay. So so oh, so you have to go between different the, the different stations and see if you can actually turn a profit elite style. Oh, bloody hell. So all of them are No, no, he's just a just some bloke. Uh, just some girl. Huh. So we have traders. Never knew. Well, this has only been out for two days. I mean, what do you expect? Well, let's see if there's actually that quest woman. There she is. Right. Give us a station transponder. Uh, yes, this is the first step to actually making your own space station. Would you like to deploy your very own space station? I can craft for you your very own... Yeah, we've, already, we've basically already done this, haven't we? So where do you actually do this? Oh, um... You actually have to use the this. <laughs> um, you cannot just drop down. Yeah, whatever. So where do I actually use this then? Let's get it in me and connecting to sail. Unable to establish. Try again from your ship. Ah, how peculiar. Ah, so I suppose I should I should go back. Uh, I'm determined to find new. I think we actually I investigated a lot of the slots in the, in the previous episode where you just. But apparently, you can actually find uh, new mech recipes um, on space stations and in other places as well. Anywhere that's like in space and not on a planet. Uh, yeah, sorry. For now, let's go back to the ship and talk to Sail with our new transponder. Right. Connecting to Sail. He's right there. For God's sake. Uh, transferring system data. Link established. Da 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 da. Enter station name. Um, let's call it the bashed the bashed my arm. <laughs> no, let's not call it that. Um, let's call it Tim. Enter station description. It's the Tim station. Everyone, welcome. Except. Tim. Right. I have no idea what this, um, how this works. Oh, this is this... Okay. So this is the, um, the system that we're in. And these are the various planets. So I can put it absolutely anywhere I want. Uh, well, let's put it really close to... Let's, let's put it in this, um, this black ring. Alright. Probe dispatched. Probe approaching target orbit. Where the hell did it come from? Space! Says Tim Rice. Not Tim Rice. <laughs> Tim Curry. Oh. Anyway. So it looks like it is now deployed. Or it is currently deploying anyway. And now it is deployed. And it's gone. Right. Alright. So we got the like, little triumphant music. Let's actually go and say hello. Oh! There it is. It's the Tim Station. Everyone welcome. Except... Hang on. Just, didn't I just write this? Right. Unexplored. Apparently. Huh. Let's go. Let's go, go, go. I'm currently just there, I think, so it's not it's not too far a journey. Wee! Looks like a little star bug. And we're here. It's the Tim Station. Da 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 Skip! There. <laughs> There's a skip. And another one. Because why not? Right, to get to it, um, we have to deploy our mech, presumably. Now, this is the Apex mech. I mean, I did a little bit of research since the last episode, and I discovered that um, 
when you actually get um, first um, get a mech, um, the body is unique to your race. So this is actually an apex body of a mech, whereas the the drill arm and the 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 feet and stuff like that are actually purely um, um well they're they're, they're non race specific. Everyone gets them, the, and the recipes are unlocked and all that. Right. So here we are in our incredibly huge space station. Hmm, it's a bit small at the moment, isn't it? Oh, right. Okay, so this is how you actually expand it. Ah, uh, uh, at the moment I can't do any of it. Oh, hello. So through this door, I can put. Ah, actually, they're all, they're all pretty much corridors. Large core. So I believe these are like seen as rooms. Yes, this is on the bottom right. In fact, a square room with expansion slots, a big one. And various corridors. Let's see what else there is. Shaft! Well, don't really want a vertical shaft because we won't be able to get into it, I guess. Hence why it's red. A mech bay west. Suitable for landing mechs. Uh, T-junction. Uh, what else? Oh, and a, a mech assembly room. Good. A corridor with a mech assembly station and a mech crafting station. Oh, so you can make more mechs here. It has expansion slots on both ends. Mech bay east and blah blah blah. Right, so let's have a look at the requirements, just of these general things. Uh, the, uh, a small room requires 50 titanium, 70 gold, and 120 silver. Which is interesting, because these are kind of like low-level uh, requirements, aren't they? And titanium is the most advanced thing there, and that's not very advanced at all. But you do need a lot of it. So I'm guessing what they're going for is um, uh, giving you the ability to actually um, keep using gold and silver and titanium later on in the game. When Because after a while it becomes bloody useless, doesn't it? Mining all that bloody gold and silver, not knowing what to do with it. Now you can make your sta station out of it, which, yeah, I, I see the reasoning there. I mean, it could have been in, in a, a case where it made you go and get the most difficult and annoying ores, like on um, volcano planets, but nope. So this seems like a quite a fair system, but it does require you're supposed to do a reasonable amount of grinding. I mean, not too bad. I mean, if you make a big fat room like that, I mean, gathering... Um, oh, actually, the, actually the, the big fat room actually does require a shitload of stuff. 450 titaniums, 600 golds, ah, and a bloody lot of got them copper wire. So you can't just use copper bars, you actually have to turn it into wire as well. Huh. Well, obviously we don't have any um, materials at the moment. Let's have another look around what's actually in existence here. There's um, a little teleporter. Uh, oh, hello, a new one. Um, Tim Station Alpha. Tim. <laughs> Can't have too many Tims. Should call it spo Spoiler Ape Station or something, but... Tim! So what's this? Industrial Storage Locker. So that's just basically like your ship locker. This is a mystery. It is actually a mystery. It's not interacting with me at all. So, either that activates when we've maybe got more stuff, or maybe it's a, a future sale interface, or maybe it's something they simply haven't done anything with in the game just yet. This is cool. I really like this. Um, it's, making a really big station uh, is going to be quite a challenge, though. Unless you cheat, obviously. Okay, I've cozied the place up a bit. <laughs> I put all the old tut in my inventory into the station. And now, I think you'll agree, it's the... Well, there's no place like home. Yes. You've got a little exit sign. Cool. So let's actually do a little bit of beaming around the place. Uh, not the asteroid base. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Uh, let's just go back to the ship. Uh, I could have just used the beam up thing, but never mind. And we're back here. Uh, I wonder if I've actually got loads of titanium in reserve, because that will be handy right now. Okay, so I've suddenly got actually loads of bars of um, ore and stuff. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that happened. It just did. So let's go back into the teleporter. Um, so I could deploy mech from the, um, directly from the teleporter pad, um, or just do that um, as per use. Um, it says co-interpreted world, but obviously around a space station, so whatever. Uh, if you look at the bottom of the list, below all the usual gubs, um, I have Tim Station Alpha Tim. So I no longer need to use the mech to get to the station. And also I could actually fly somewhere else and would still be able to beam back here. Which, I think you'll agree, is a blessed relief. Because otherwise, my god. Right, so let's expand the station. Now that I've actually got some stuff. 
Uh, I think a nice big un will do the job nicely. Oh my god, it's... Oh shit, this is about ten times larger than I expected. Oh sh oh my god, so these um, these are only one square. I For some reason I was thinking that they were going to be tiny. I thought this would be like nine squares, but this is just one. This is immense. No wonder you require a billion bloody um, titanium bars and all that. My god. It's going to be quite a jog to get over here. So let's have a look. Let's see what else we can do. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Alright. T-junction. Uh, what else? Oh, that requires... Um, Salvaged interface chip. Oh, I see. When it, um, so there are actually requirements that are a bit more complex. Um, salvaged interface chips are some of the new things that you get from killing space aliens and stuff like that. Uh, here's a nice vertical shaft for the lads. Uh, we don't really want a vertical shaft right now. Not before tea time. Let's go for a horizontal corridor. Uh, you could make a giant space station in the shape of a willy. I almost already have. <laughs> uh, that's not childish. So what else is there? Um, salvage proton limiter, that's the same thing as I said before. I've actually got one of those, but you need 40. And I have noticed when you're actually crafting mech stuff, um, that mech compo new mech components, when you're upgrading your mech, do require a lot of raw materials. Where, whenever you scavenge something from space, or salvage it, you get one. Um, and, but you end up needing like 40 and stuff like that, so it's not going to be easy to upgrade your mech. It is going to be quite um, an investment of time. So, nah, frankly. So just built another absolutely vast room. <laughs> God damn it. Oh! I still want like a, um, a long vertical shaft. <laughs> that didn't kill me because I'm in admin mode, by the way. <laughs> I thought, for the sanity of the video, I thought I might as well stick in that. Hup. 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 Well, this is one way to get around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, well, ow. No, it's not. It's a terrible way to get around. I'll never use grappling hooks. Forget how cool they are. Whee! Uh, this, these have been in a game for ages. So, this is, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm wasting your time like this, but <laughs> never mind. Okay, whilst we're like I'm in cheaty admin mode, just to show off what's in 1.3, let's um, do the mech assembly room. Uh, it does require... well, I've got loads of this sort of stuff. Um, it does require the salvage proton limiter, 40 of them, but because we're in admin mode, we can do it anyway. And there we have it, there's the crafting stations that we last saw on the outpost. Uh, again, because we're in the admin mode, we can see all the potential mech bodies and stuff like that. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll deal with all this sort of like um, upgrading your mech stuff in a future episode. Uh, for now, let's just have a bit of a look at this. I still want a horn. I want the horn. Uh, which will be nice. Let's just change my mech colour again. Oh, that's hideous. Hmm. Oh, let's see. Oh, hmm. It's got to be red, hasn't it? It has to be red. Uh, and also, maybe now we're over here. So we can't place these things. Oh, oh I see. Because... Those are simply one. They don't fit. They to overlap. It over it overlaps an existing part. The red one shown on the diagram. So, but we could have a, a mech bay west. And there we have it. That's where your mech could actually theoretically land, but not take off from because at the moment our mech is, God only knows where it is at the moment. It's just it's tucked away in my pocket or something. I cannot deploy it at the moment. Um, so I would actually have to like come here the old-fashioned way by mech if I wanted to fly out again by it. If you see what I mean. Well, I'm not quite sure where you'd actually go if, if you flew out of it. Uh, I don't know. Huh. Anyway. Okay, so I think we've pretty much dealt with building space stations. That was just like a, a bit of a, a hurried, cheaty look at it all. Um, but I think I just want to visit a different space station and see, just have a bit of a check up on the old trading situation. I'm intrigued to find that out. We've already been here. Um, oh, there's, a, there's still a bug in... Um, in RC2, which I found in RC1, sometimes it stops responding and you have to qu close that and start again. Uh, that's more like it. So we've been here, and in fact, we even could add a bookmark if we wanted. So, because we've, we've already explored it, so we could do that. Um, God damn it. They really need to bloody make this a bit easier to use. Um, like, if, if I... Oh, we stuck... See, it's not... Oh, 
Yeah. It's Brock again. And But yeah, if you haven't explored it, it says unexplored. So we will actually have to go to a different system, which we haven't yet done. I haven't actually shown off actually flying from one place to another. It's not, you know, it's not like I'm the most um, excitingly different thing you've ever seen, but we may as well. Uh, FTL, FTL travel will consume 100 fuel. Um, I think it's only... I mean, for me, I think it's 100, because I think my one crew member has been making... Uh, fuel really efficient for my ship for ages, and now it hardly doesn't really cost me much to go anywhere. Or, I don't know, maybe, whatever. Anyway, you can see the display slowly um, working its way across space. You'll be pleased to know this system is immense. Look at this bad boy. Um, and we have a c several space anomalies, in including one very close to the bloody sun. Um, but we also have, more importantly, a s electronic station. So that's the same as previous. I'm not quite sure. I haven't, I haven't really investigated the stations very much. Uh, I don't know if there's different types of station. I think there might be. I've, I've pressed the wrong button again. <laughs> Fuck! All right, let's go. Oh dear, did I um, did I go to the right place there? I might have right-clicked slightly away from the station. Uh, we'll see. See if we actually get anywhere or not. Oh yeah, there we go. All seems to be good. Now, of course, we have to deploy our mech to get here. I don't think stations have teleporters. I didn't notice any first time round. Doing, Off it goes. Boof. Right. And once again, it is in a funny direction. There we go. I need to upgrade this to make it go faster and more nimble. And because so far, it feel, it, mechs do feel very sluggish in their initial form. And I think you can upgrade boosters and things as you go. Um, again, we'll look at that in possibly the next episode. Right, so this is space station number two I've visited. Um, I'm expecting it to look pretty much the same. I think they're all along the same design. Oh, it feels a bit different. Oh, hmm. Or maybe it doesn't. Ah, looks very similar either way. Uh, let's see if there's anything in the trash. No, for, for, for some reason there isn't 50 um, silver bars in this particular one. Uh, let's see, where's that... Is a guy in a hard hat. Oh, a fellow Apex. Hello. Uh, oh, it's a it's a it's a mini gnog. Yeah. <laughs> so I just like ignore him as a result of that. Let's see if we can find a guy to trade with up here. Oh, this is different. I think. I don't remember this being here before. Ah. Well, there's pixels. Oh, mat oh, a little module. Ah, look, salvaged bits. That's good. That would be good to make our mech bits. Uh, some more pixels. And so on. I uh, haven't found a guy in a hard hat yet, but maybe it's not just the guy in the hard hats our traders. Maybe there's other people as well. Oh, look, blueprints. High-tech mech blueprint. Uh, blueprint for a high-tech mech part. Uh, this is something that we will look at in, in, in the next episode, but let's just um, do a little tease. Let's tr see what we learn. Learn to craft Spike Fist mech arm. So it is random, um, and it does seem to be split into tiers. Uh, most interesting, that's useful to know. Was that a plushie? Oh, ah! <laughs> oh, never mind about that. Uh, are you a trader? No, no, he's just a welcomer. Right, well, I fell into this zone. Uh, the Red Zone Cuba. And we've got a uh, station transponder quest guy. Ronald. Ronald McDonald. And by the looks of it, we've also got a trader. Um, he's buying electronic parts for 50, which isn't a very good deal. Um, I would go and he's also pissed off. Stay stay there. Uh, and also food rations, which I... So yeah, you... Oh! No, actually, he knows, actually, he's selling electronic parts, which is actually... Yeah, that's good, because that's cheap. Uh, and he's buying... Okay, so yeah, he's actually buying off me, so I'm selling to him food rations. Huh. Right, so this is something you'd, you'd probably have to write down in a little notebook. And because if your memory is as bad as mine, then you'll probably need to do that. So they've, added, they've essentially added trading... Well, a bit a bit more than they've already got at the moment. But it, yeah, there's a, you can actually act as a, a go-between trader instead of like a, um, a primary producer. Ah, discovering new stuff all the time. Uh, but it is a bit of a different design by the looks of it, um, just to like cap this off. There is... Look, I mean, this has actually got an entire section over here, which the previous one didn't have. Uh, unless I didn't actually bother exploring it. <laughs> I can't remember. 
So this has got all its own little stuff as well. Uh, cool. And it's even got a vending machine, which I like to see. Right, okay, so we'll pick this up again in the next episode, uh, where we'll have a look at upgrading mechs, I think, because that'd be fun. But there's a few other things I want to have a look at as well. Um, possibly or possibly not, depending on how interesting they turn out to be, uh, basically. So do subscribe to be notified about when new episodes go live, and all the latest Starbound stuff and all that, and all the rest of the, the best indie games around. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.